In the foothills of the Himalayas lies a tiny country with grand ambitions. Druk Yul, better known in the West as Bhutan, is the only country in the world whose official government policies include the development of gross national happiness. For centuries, Bhutan has been a devoutly Buddhist country. Its people take pride in their land and share a powerful connection with their environment. All part of their traditions of peace and harmonious tranquility. And that was just what the population of under a million Bhutanese were enjoying until their absolute monarch did a remarkable and radical thing. He abdicated his throne to his young son and announced that from 2008, the country would become a modern democracy. As the 21st century took hold in tiny Bhutan, tourism, television, cell phones, and the internet all erupted on the national scene. So too did the telltale signs of modernism. With it came many of the issues found in the West, such as crime, drug abuse, and alcoholism. On the very auspicious day of November 6, 2008, Bhutan was alive with excitement. Yes, it is good for the king. We are just cooking for the king. I'm very happy with the cooking. Everything is cooked well. And the seasonings are done well. Except it is very bit spicy, hot. So this is, uh, this is normally a Bhutanese cuisine. It is not never a complete cuisine without peppers. Mm. <laughs> Citizens came from every corner of the country to witness the coronation of their new king. <laughs> As the young monarch welcomed his new role, the challenge ahead seemed as forbidding as the mountains that dominate every skyline. Unlike in the experience of most other countries, democracy in Bhutan came not by the will of the people. It did not come through a struggle. It did not come through a convulsion, but rather it came through the will of the king. See, uh, uh, he's always at the youth now. They are the future of the country. Uh, I think that um, when the king directs his speeches at the youth and all, it gives us a feeling that the youth in general have a lot to do for society. You know, we play, play a very big role and we are the future of the nation, so. <laughs> There are problems. The results of development uh, are both good and bad. But this is a country where optimism is justified. Try to tell people that money isn't everything, our culture our identity. I think the very essence of our society is in our culture, in our uh, value systems. While the Bhutanese are determined to preserve their cultural identity, is the concept of gross national happiness really a possibility for a 21st century democracy? 
the fact is we have looked around and noticed that when you give away your past the future is very uncertain and the present does not become comfortable i do believe that at the end of the day bhutan's unique characteristics will actually see it through if it is just uh, the flicker of the television 20 years from now and no butter lamps it would be very sad and if it is just uh, the flicker of the butter lamp and then we become a very you know closed uh, cloistered uh, society it would not bode well for us also so you know peaceful coexistence a small country looking for happiness <laughs>